Hey guys, we're blowing back. I'm Aaron. I'm Melanie. And we were back with the Midnight Club uh, last time. Things was... are getting intense. Well, I mean, they, they were getting intense, and then they also got sad. It was a very sad episode. I think I went through a lot of tissues, and I cannot make any sense of my notes, like at all. Um, well, we went through um, like the last Anya's moments of dreams. Anya, right? Yeah, she had like her memories and stuff of stories and things all kind of blending together in like a a coma maybe that she was in. Then she came to at the end and said goodbye to Alanka. Yeah. Um, after hearing the story of them like all like growing old together and living in a neighborhood and whatnot. Uh, we also had the doctor talking to someone. Which we don't know who. She was high AF and talking to someone at 1 a.m. in the morning. Who knows what that was about. Um, and they have known about the Midnight Club and they let it happen. Which sounds like a fun thing to do. Yes. Right? I feel like if our kids are getting together late to tell spooky stories to each other and stuff that they've made up. Well, I mean... It's like, it's well, all right. As long as they're getting up in the morning and stuff for school or whatever. Like we said in a previous episode, it's like <laughs> the kid reading a book at night mm -hmm. with a blanket over their head. Yeah, so dad doesn't catch me. Exactly. So you just let it happen. They're reading. They're not playing on their tablet. They're lying. <laughs> no! <laughs> but anyway... Um, and then we had a scare at the end. There was a weird, creepy lady. Which was great. Um, and also, a kid is apparently good and going home. Which one that is, we don't know yet. Don't know. So we'll find out now. The ritual work just... Not for Anya. So what do we do now? I'll be back as soon as I can, and I'll let you know if I find out. Find out if it's true, and then you can think about the ritual. Santa's not the only one with answers. You don't know who these people are. Shasta could be bad and evil. She could be the evil, ugly witch. She is the evil, ugly witch. Yeah, look at her. <laughs> Karen. <laughs> What's going on? He's trying to do a really brave thing, but he needs a ride. Oh, okay. He's wanting to go to his parents. Gotcha. I thought he was going to confess, like, love for the nurse. And I'm like, but he treats everyone like Here's that. Seats, which is all well and good, but we've been trying for years, decades, some of us, to recreate a little bit of what you found the other night, which is why we would love to have you here with us mm. so we can find more of that balance. <laughs> what is us? What is this place? Cult. <laughs> That's what cult people say. I wrote down. And you're welcome here anytime. And that's not an offer we make to just anyone. Those people are back around frozen. We have a home here. If you want it. Look, they're frozen. They're frozen! It's a cult! <laughs> Wait. That's weird! If they're part of a cult, do you freeze? When the leader talks. Or to be and creepy. You, could. you said that you used an old journal for the ritual, a Venus journal. Is that right? Burned. Yeah, that's right. What are you doing here? Why do you have to look backwards? Yeah, I don't know. I'm here to talk to mom. In a short 25 year span of living, he had allowed a tremendous amount of sexual perversity into his life. This is what she's watching in her free time? I love you 
just how you are. That was me. Just how I am. I'm pretty sure God does too. I don't need to start crying sooner. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't imagine casting my own son away, you know? Like, <clears throat> and saying, screw any God. <laughs> These are my children. Like, Dang. She didn't say anything, but I like I'm this sorry. little speech. Just a little. Could you fax me the results for her file? Her well, file. It's a her. Sherry, Sandra, Alanka. Natsuki. Maybe that's why she wanted to stay in, is she's feeling okay, better? You have not said anything you oh. Or worse. You I don't know. Stairs. You know you're okay. I just can't believe I did that. <laughs> did you do it again? Yeah. Then you know you did the right thing. Aww. <laughs> Sherry. I'm just gonna pretend I'm in an alternate reality with a bunch of gay people where you do stupid gay shit and everyone's supposed to do something and then I end up dancing. <laughs> <laughs> then I end up dancing. <laughs> I do a bunch of gay shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Looks like we're not meeting tonight. Which is fun. I was tired anyways. Or well, you guys just well, do it in the hallway. We may walk into this. Alone? No, he's already having issues. I call this story Luchinella. Wave. wave of mutilation, right? On a wave of mutilation. Who that? Get the out the road. Nurse? Who that? Are these people that rob people? I'm running them over. Yeah. Crack, stop. That's enough. Stop. Nope. Okay, do it. Can you get it? She got some pretty bad mesh mouth. I don't know. I'm just driving north. Straight ahead. Yeah. I got it that way. Okay. Or weapons for killing a person. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are two huge yeah, cases. Yeah. Fit half a person in each. I just don't think that's the way to hitchhike is by standing in the middle of a dark road. Nope. If anything, they're ghosts. Thank you for the ride. What's your name? Hey, he's a usual Mike Flanagan guy. Oh, I'm Freedom Jack. And that's my girl, Poppy Corn. Freedom wow, Jack. And Poppy Corn. <laughs> I look like For what it's worse, I her again. <laughs> Do I look like her? That's that, that's where I am. This gas station up ahead. A quarter tank is plenty. You don't need to stop. You should pull over. Eventually. This is like Devil Angel. Yeah, that's exactly what I was going to say. Pull over. Like they both had, like, don't pick them up. You should pick them up. Maybe they need help. They say they need help. Maybe they don't know they need help. Exactly. Are these just her inner thoughts? Like, maybe and they're not really there, like you said? Yeah. And it's hard to gauge on the idea of gas because I don't know how long they've really been driving. One thing you wanted to do after tonight. Uh, after tonight? Why? Because there's not going to be a... What? What the fuck was that? I guess everyone's on their own path out here. A lot of lost souls at rest stops. Are we in like Maybe purgatory? And devils and the whole fucking lot. Maybe. No one's here. It must be closed. Someone's right there. I am. So what confused. is going on? Is it like a like a vampire thing? 
No. Why are there no cars on the road? All that. What was that one dude about? What is that? Sorry, it's my joint. When did you, like... I know what it is. That's not the smell. I know what's going on. You okay, Therese? I'm not gonna say yeah. it yet, but I know what's going on. I'll write it down. I'm tired. Walk outside. You and me. Get away from the smell. The hell? She doesn't care. Nothing, nothing happened. I don't understand. Maybe this woman wear dark clothes because it has the blood. Fuck out of the car. Maybe she knows that we never leave anyone alive once they find out what we do. And maybe she likes you. And that's why she doesn't want you to believe me. Maybe. We have to handle you the way we handled that other dude who picked us up earlier tonight. Free. Or maybe I'm just full of shit. But I'll tell you what. It's gonna hurt. And that's the only thing you've said so far that's true. And he wants her to run out of gas. <laughs> and, and, and don't fuck with me. What happened back there? What happened back where? Uh, at the gas station. I told you there was no one there. I jacked a case of beer and I heard a noise. Do you remember that? Of course she does. She just zoned out for a second, right? Yeah, I... I, I zoned out. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm tired. Are we driving in a circle? <laughs> they always are opposite. Again? Fuck. That's okay. They were like neon. Teresa. Are they apples? Like tennis balls. Or like those walnuts from the trees. You, you can't stop now, honey. What's the face look like? Even scarier? <laughs> Dang, you put a child there. Is that a kid? I... You should check on her. Kill the engine. No! Don't. I, I, I know about this shit. She's a lure. They use a kid. Actually. Just, just leave it. We, we'll get back in the car. That's why she kept wanting her to turn off the car. And he's like, oh my god, this story is... And the smell. What's that smell? All the fog. Don't get the, out of the car. That's why the right the hitchhiker looked like her. I, I don't. You never left the garage. You're dying. It's gonna hurt. Dying. Living. It's gonna fucking hurt if you stay. You know that. It'll be fucking pain. If you stay, this is the right call. Let it ride. Let it ride all night and straight on till morning. Is that why you did that? Everything you said before you got in the car, before you turned on the engine, you were right. It's gonna hurt so bad if you stay. It'll be so hard. Life is so fucking hard. And it'll hurt. But I'm fighting for you. Who are you? Where are you, Zoe? It'll be hard if 
if you stay. But I'll fight for you. I'll still be here. But it's so much easier if you just let go. Let the edge of run, just let yourself slip away. You'll carry us both with you, always. We're gonna argue in your mind, always. It'll be so fucking hard, but I'll help you carry her. I'm so tired. I know, but you're needed. In ways you can't see yet. No one needs you, you're replaceable. You could never be. You need to be here. Yep. Be free. Just hang on for a second longer. Just a moment longer. And see what happens. It's easy this way. ball from the garage. Oh, that makes sense.
down in the basement. We better go check it. Make sure no Oh, one's... by ourselves. Because sure no that hurt. makes sense. They don't want anyone to be hurt. What if they're trapped down there? Oh, well, what if she gets trapped down there? Just don't get off the elevator. What if she's in the elevator? What are you doing? Freak now. Why? What's in the elevator? You're telling me if you heard that someone like like a little girl's noise crying, you wouldn't be like, oh no, I hope she's I'd be okay. like, Aaron, 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 go check it out. Yeah, you would. <laughs> I'd be like, shit, I don't want to go. <laughs> oh, shit. The fuck? Why is she fucking down here? Why is it scary? Someone's just walking around. It's the same freaky lady from earlier. Why'd they make the noise? Like, if it would have been scary, it's just some old lady down here. It, how the hell did she get down here, Aaron? Elevator. Everywhere. Oh, she's going to turn her out. Now, the turn around part might be scary. That might be the scary part. Oh, why is she going closer? Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do anything. It's like, go. Go. Bullshit. Why is she down here? Don't do it. Fucking sh it's shit. It's heaven. Oh, God. Are you okay? What? See? Look. Nothing scary and you're freaking out over nothing. She just sat here. This is my saddest episode of the series. Oh, God. Yeah. No, it clicked for me. That's when I, like, I was like, I know what's going on. And I just, like, she's killing herself in the garage. She never left. And it was like that, like that whole idea of, like, here's the angel and devil on the shoulders kind of thing, right? It's the idea of, like, when you're standing on top of a building, be like, what if you just jumped? <laughs> you know? It's like, <laughs> like, it's not necessarily something that you're going to do, but it's those dark thoughts that creep in and stuff. Mm. But it's also what she said, too, is, like, the depression side of it when that really amps up. And it's like, it's going to hurt. Living's gonna hurt. Yeah, for a while I didn't know who was on which side. Other than using the clues of she's wearing light colors and he's wearing dark colors. Mm -hmm. But then he's like, no, you want to stay warm, keep it on. So I didn't think that she was, you know, with the car. Yeah, that was another like, one where it's like, turn it off. No, leave it on. Turn it off. Let's yeah. go. He always was like trying to keep her turning it on and driving and going and... Stop and pick up whoever that is. You know, get out of the car and see who it is. Mm -hmm. uh, they could need help. They might not know they need help or they can't ask themselves, you know? Yeah. Like that kind of thing where it's, yeah, like, go see who it is. And the Little tennis girl. ball's actually hitting the car. Or yeah, it was the garage the door. tennis ball. Little girl was her. The only one I'm not sure about was the random dude who showed up. Like, there's no cars. There's never any cars. It's just us. Like... That was the only weird one that I didn't quite understand where that fit in with everything. Hmm. Like everything else, I'm like, okay, there's a gas station, sure, because you're in a car, you're driving, no one's here, can't get gas, better keep driving. And she might ac actually be low on gas by this point, like, depending on if she put a brick on the gas or not. Yeah, I'm trying to think of how that guy related, other than to get us to realize that this is a complete... Like, you were immediately said, oh, is it purgatory afterwards? So it's like, um, you're right. What is going on? <laughs> we don't know. Maybe, like, the idea is, like, she's on the road to death, and there's other people going down that road, too. Right? So maybe he was just another one of them. And then the little girl's kind of like her life is flashing and stuff. She getting glimpses and memories of herself and things. That's why she's like, this girl looks familiar. So I think it, it was her. They were chasing her and they found her in the garage. But yeah, I I started to have like my thought of what I thought it was, but I didn't want to say it in case it wasn't either. That way it didn't like taint your thoughts of what was happening either or anything, but I thought they did it really well. No, I would have been on. I would have agreed and been like, oh, that makes all the sense in the world. <laughs> I just didn't think that she'd get that dark. But she has talked about having clinical depression. Yeah. Well, and... and yeah, she did, didn't she? Go ahead. And then just lining up with what was going on in her room to where she was telling um, Amesh to leave her alone. Just like you said, there's different ways to grieve and whatnot. And I'm like, I don't know. This seems like an 
actual episode. So, like, she, like, not TV episode, but she's having an episode. She's having an episode. Episode. No. Yeah. I mean, her, and her thing, too, where it's talking about, like, so she changes the story to where it's, like, she wants to live. And I like that, like, she chose to stay, you know? Like, not everyone takes that choice, you know? But then she did choose to stay, but she couldn't make it. She had waited too long, and... Couldn't the story of like her mom saving her and all that kind of stuff too and it's like she wanted to live only to find out that she's dying anyway yeah. you know and it's like that's got to make it even harder where it's like no I wanted to live and now I want to live even more than what I did before like I wonder if she might be the one who is better because oh. especially after that story like I'd, I'd like that where it's like she's been she fighting was, so hard she was going to kill herself Decided she didn't want to do that. She wanted to live, to be told that she's going to die, to be able to actually live, you know? But, like, I immediately was like, yes, this is what these kids are dealing with every day. Like, should they just, you know, euthanize themselves or, you know, wait it out till the end? I didn't even think about this being an actual true story of her past. I just thought it was the daily battles that they have now. Yeah. But now she's like, I chose life. Like, sure. I want to live. And that makes me think that she's over the clinical depression. I get what you mean. But. Yeah, I think it's easier to look at it being like, I'm already dying. Living's going to hurt because there's all this pain from whether it's cancer or, uh, I guess most of them are cancer, right? Of different cancers. Except, well, except for, for Spencer. AIDS. So, like, all these are eating away at me and causing pain. It is going to hurt, especially if you're looking at it from that point. But hers, yeah, was all before that even. It's just life in general, whether it's people in school and being bullied or just going through life, and life just has best moments and then the worst moments, you know? Yeah. But, I mean, she also had, like, her mother <laughs> Her mother showed up, and the story, the way she told it was, like, she screamed only once before when she found out her husband died. So it wasn't like her mother wasn't there and caring, you know? So I wonder, like, what, you know, and depression, there's not necessarily, I guess, a reason, you know? But there's often someone that you're not noticing or thinking about that is that does care and does watch and would miss you, you know? We also had Shasta. Yeah, and her cult. <laughs> of, you can join us. <laughs> And you're like, they're frozen in the background. Well, it it's cut like, oh, to them. <laughs> it cut to her, Alanka, twice. And both times, I didn't see anybody moving in the background. And then they did the zoom out. And nobody was moving at all. I'm like, what is going on? Get out of here. Whatever it is she wants, don't want no more. They're giving you a bile. Don't want a bile. Yeah, four. No. Four humors. I ain't four laughing. humors. <laughs> Black bile, yellow bile, phlegm, and blood. So this is all stuff in your body? Well, I'm... Like, mean. don't you get the bile when, like, things are bad? Well, like, so, like, your gallbladder, right? Or pancreas shit, I don't remember. Yeah, shoots no. out bile to help metabolize the fats in your body. Ugh. And then sometimes your gallbladder overshoots it. So then, therefore, you end up having... Extra bile? Yeah, diarrhea. Ugh. Like, anytime they eat fatty foods, they call it dumping syndrome. Because your body okay, just... Okay, okay, okay. Yes. How about phlegm? Yeah, I know what it is, but I don't want that. <laughs> well, I mean, like, you need the mucus in your body. The mucus is helping clear all out right. all the bad bacteria. All right. Why don't they just call it mucus? Well, why is it called phlegm? I, phlegm sounds yucky. Bile sounds vile. Make these good words I want. You know? You're like, I only want one. And I'm like, it blood, must be the blood. Chocolate milk. Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Those are things that should be yeah. in my body. Yeah. But I don't, I guess I don't know what black bile is. Yeah, I think that's bad. Black sounds real bad. I'm pretty sure like if I have like water shoots out green bile, so I'm If like, I have something coming from my body that's just a black, like look like that stuff in that jar, I am concerned. Like, <sighs> I understand like you get a you thing, it's festering, and there's like this weird pus stuff. That stuff ain't black, you know? No. Black is like necrotic stuff. Like, yeah. my arm's decaying away and falling off. I don't want that. So, I really don't know what black and yellow I think it's a are. trap. Cult trap. Flim? I mean, she didn't, did not explain where the flim came from. <laughs> yeah. Now, I don't think that she's Athena. 
in the slightest. Because she wants the journal. Yeah. Why would Athena want her own book? So she's a follower of Athena. So she's Julia Jane? I think she's either Julia or the mother. Stealing the lives out of children or whatever. <laughs> Wait, so... Yeah, Regina. Regina. So it's... Asos or whatever, right? It's... Athena, it was the daughter. daughter. Yep. And that journal was... Athena's? Yes. And I think that's Stan. Okay. Which I agree. And that's what I said before. Because mm. I think that Shasta is Regina and that she's retained her youth. Gotcha. Okay. Not Julia. No. Okay. Because Julia's the You were the on girl. the Julia Jane page. Uh, I think it's closer. And maybe if it, it is Julia sense. and she's like, I know it worked and I got out of there and I'm making a thing based on it and Stanton won't let me back in there. That could work too. Yes, I Regina agree. also works though in another sense, and would make sense to start a new cult because of the little tattoo and all the symbols and everything that they have. And like she's already done the cult, now she's just doing it again. So it's one of those two. Yeah. Or it's Julia being possessed by Regina, and Regina's the old spirit monster, and she's <laughs> see, makes sense. Yeah. I also really enjoyed Spence talking to his mom. Like he had oh, that, like, yeah, he had, like, that speech that. moment. And Cherie just, like, encouraging it. Yeah. It's like, he wants to do something brave, but he needs a ride. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, like, just that whole thing where, like, you know, I've lost someone, and, you know, we all cared about her, and it made me realize that, you know, I love you, Mom, but if you're not there, I've got people who care. I have enough. And I don't, you know, I don't need you. And I, I have like, enough without you, basically. I'm I just... Like, <sighs> Like, it just, like, the father, like, opened his door and, like, looked back to see if she was around. Like, one of those things where it's like, oh, no, the, my, my mistress showed up. I know. You shouldn't I, be that's here what right I thought now. it was. I, like, I was like, things. oh, does he have a mistress? Did like, he give up honey, on Honey, who's at the door? The like, Christmas carolers. Like, it's June. You know? <laughs> one of those kind of things, so. But the fact that he did it like that. And then they walk in and she's. You know, he, he she's watching the thing. Is like, and his perversity, and the way Satan, and it's like, just man, take a break. It's not even Sunday. <laughs> I know. I, I was like, is it Sunday? Like, <coughs> is it? It surprises me because we still have people like that. Well, and like, I like he even said it too. It's like, I know you're really hardened to your beliefs, but I don't know, like. It, because I would, you grew up in the church, I, and I also grew up in the church. I wonder how much I'd struggle. I mean, I don't have those beliefs. <laughs> but, like, if I had those beliefs, how much would I struggle if, like, my kid was gay or whatever and it's, like, against my beliefs? Like, I feel like I love my kids enough that I'd be like, well, I don't care about this. But if I was more heavily indoctrinated, <laughs> like, Ooh, like my mammal, mm. like, what would I be like then, you know? So, I don't know. And I use that as a word because I don't, I don't have any other better word. And it's basically, like, I feel like a lot of kids go to church because their parents make them go to church and they grow up. With these beliefs as like this is the only belief in this out of They either grow up with three beliefs or to resent. And like with my mammal and the way that she was, because it was very yeah, I don't know why strict. she liked me. I don't know either. <laughs> I'm like, you don't know this man. Because even your mom was like, Can he get married in a church or will he catch on fire? I know. But my mammal, she loved you and I don't understand. <laughs> Cause she like Growing up with the kids, like, my my kids, uh, my dad and his generation weren't allowed to go dancing, talk about drugs. If they, when they went to school, they had to carry Bibles in their pockets. Did she live in they, the Footloose City? Uh, it was, I mean, she grew up in Kentucky. <laughs> I don't remember where Footloose took place, but, like, but, they couldn't dance, they couldn't, like, all this stuff that was, like... Yeah, that's basically what, it was strict. And then you had my dad that grew up and was like okay with the beliefs and then you had uh, my aunts that grew up to resent her for the beliefs so it was just two polar opposites but then with age my mom became more accepting of all of it um, and and that's when I met her and that's when you <laughs> met her because I mean whenever we were still young we were she'd still get a switch out and be <laughs> like if we did anything wrong she and she was Four foot five, you know, take you down with the stick. Hmm. She's an intense woman. Yeah, kids yeah. like switches now. 
<laughs> so like, yay. But no, like some people grow out of it is my point in that. Sure. Like, but to resent your own child and just basically excommunicate him from the family and the church. I mean, and it's a thing, too, where, like, before, like, people were like, oh, it's it's this, it's that. We'll cure it with, like, lobotomies and stuff, right? Like, they would do that kind of stuff. Ratchet, right? Mm, when we watched yeah. that, like, that was one of the things where, like, one of the girls was, like, a lesbian. And they were like, well, let us fix that. And it was like, Jesus, you know? Like, yep. they looked at it as, like, a disease, basically, or uh, something wrong. And those wrong are actual those... factual things. Those are things that have actually happened. Yeah. They used to try to treat it with electrotherapy and everything. Like, yeah. shit, man. So, like, it's... I don't know. We're, we're in a different time now where, like, people don't look at it like that. But this is still, I guess, in the 90s, you know? Is it 90s or 94. are we still 80? Okay. We're in 94. Which I feel like is in that area when it starts to... I don't know, be understood more rather than just, like, villainized. You know what I mean? I think there starts to becoming more understanding and acceptance, especially with, like, the generations that are like, why are you hating them? And it's a lot so of the older generations. So we regressed really... back to the 90s here in the past year. I mean, maybe, I guess. I don't know. Well, like, now it's, it's pushing towards a, another side of it, right? Like, I think, like, if you were gay or lesbian in the 90s that started to be understood more and more accepted and now we're getting into more of the LGBTQ like there's more elements of that now that I think people are not accepting yet you know what I mean they still don't accept gay and lesbian I think more so than they did in the 90s in the 80s in the 70s but I get what you mean too I, I don't think it's like universally like well I think in the 70s and 80s we were just then trying to develop treatment for AIDS and HIV like sure so now that we finally have treatments for it we're like okay at least you guys aren't gonna die <laughs> immediately but like I think back then there was also the push for using protection and then with that push using protection for gay intercourse then like it became more accepting because it was more of a topic that was being discussed. Sure. So. But no, I really liked Spence's moment there because it's more like he's just talking about him and who he is, and this is who I am, Mom. And you, if you don't accept me, I'm fine with that. I love you, <laughs> but I don't need you to be there. So, I really, I really liked his his moment with all that. And then I feel like I understand the doctor too, where Alanka is just she's on her she's on her mission, right? Like yeah, I you would don't hate, want to give people false hope. I would hate to tell someone's like, hey, you've been cured miraculously somehow, and then three Told days three days later, you're test gonna them back die. In. Like, Actually, no, <laughs> sorry, it was all there was a mess up in the air of the charting or the the, the testing that we did or whatever, and. You know, whatever happens. It's like getting that Two. horrible news twice in your life. <laughs> yeah. And Alonka's just like, no. We honesty? It's like, just let's make sure that it's right and then we can tell people, you know? Let's not promise the kids we're going to Disney World, <laughs> you know, and then we can't go to Disney, you know? Yeah. Like, don't, don't try to, like, get someone's hopes of something else and then just crash it down. Especially since, like, what, um, was it Stanton? Someone was talking about, like, having been told that, and then coming to peace with it, like you're really just opening that can of worms all over again, where it's like, what was it like to know you were dying? And now a lot of these kids have come to peace like, I know I'm dying. Mm -hmm. It's going to happen. We're all dying. What happens if you have to go through that process all over again? And Alank is just kind of like, I don't know. What do you think was up with Kevin? Yeah. Did you see what happened at the end, or were your eyes still closed? Uh, he turned around and it was Kevin. Like, she turned around? Yeah. The, the, the well, lady that was walking? The figure and... turned around. And so how do you get Kevin. down there? See, good thing we came down to check. You would have just let him die down here, Melanie. And then he's like, not again. Yeah, I know. Was... Kevin was creepy woman. That's what I'm going to write down. I don't know what else to say. Like, does he sleepwalk? Has he talked about sleepwalking? I don't remember. I thought someone talked about sleepwalking. But, like... Wasn't it Anya? Maybe, maybe she was... I don't think Anya sleptwalked. 
after I said it, I'm like, oh, I should not laugh at myself. That's really bad. Um, but the way she was, like, moving seemed very sleepwalky, you know? Just kind of, like, waddling in a circle. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, sleepwalkers kind of really usually move their bodies so they don't fall over because they're sleep. Why... Why was Anya, not Anya, Alanka seeing the creepy woman, though? I don't know. Why did she phase into the weird film grainy world? Uh-huh. When she phased oh, into the weird yeah, film the grainy gra- world? I, I and thought then, you said like, granny, like not old granny. granny. World. <laughs> and then there was like something there and it ended up being Kevin, right? So Kevin. That happened when they went to the library, right? He fo- She followed someone to the library and then... It was... They- it ended up being Kevin. He's like, did you just come in here? He's like, yeah, we're all here for the Midnight Club. And, like, everyone was sitting at the table. Remember that So one? it's always Kevin. Not always, but it has been. I guess it I'm wasn't in the bedroom whenever Anya was being chased. Maybe. And we then don't know. whenever uh, Alonka was puking, like, Kevin wasn't there. Yeah, and there's, like, the guy in the mirror and stuff, too. It's so, like, there's some other, uh, other elements. But she has seen things. Yes. Other times that are, like, unexplainable. Yes. So... I don't know. Okay. Don't know. Mm. <sighs> what we the fuck, d- Kevin? But we do know that if someone is better, it is a her. It is a her. Which leaves us with a, what, Sherry, Alanka, uh, Sandra, and Nat- Natsuki? That's everyone, right? Which we haven't heard from Sandra for a while. Yeah, uh, we had an episode really focused on her before. Yeah, that's true. I don't think we really had much on Sherry. I think like, it's Sherry. Sh- is it Sherry? It's just such a mystery of a character because even in this episode when they're cutting in the hair, right? It's like, so did you really cut hair? That's what I said. It's like, did you do it or did you say it? You know, <laughs> like, did you just think it'd be fun to cut my hair so you made up a story? And then, like, her thing, too, talking about, like, you know, who she was in love with and telling her family. And her family, like, didn't care, but... She's like, I could tell them anything, and they just won't could care. Say I'm you know? addicted to heroin, at least, or the mother of octopolis. Yeah, at least Spencer's family like heard, and like they do care, which is why like the mother's so bothered, right? Because she does care about him, and like that's kind of like what he's what she was getting at a little bit. Yeah. So I'm hoping maybe what's being said, like having your son come and say, like, look, if you don't love me, I don't care. I have people that love me, and that's enough. I love you. Like, like would we that, were enough for Anya. Like, would that wake you up? At all, if you were, like, being like, I can't go look at him, I can't go see him, I can't support his whatever, you know? It's like, regardless, like, he's just, he's over here dying, you know? It's like, if your son was a serial killer and got the death sentence, would you go and visit him weekly and then, um, and then be at his execution? I guess. And you still know. tell him that you love him? I mean, I love him. I don't like what he did. You know? But I don't think that I could just, like, not be there. You know? Because that's the only thing that I can be like, ooh, that might be crossing the line. Sure. I don't know if I can still. Yeah. I mean, but a lot I of that still depends on the situation either. and stuff, too, you know? But I don't know. Like, I, I, I don't want, I definitely don't want to resent them for things they can't really control. You know? Yeah. Like, there's stories I've heard where it's like they resent this child because the mother died in childbirth and they blame the kid for that, you know? And I don't want, like, I don't think that that's the kid's fault. Like, that's just something that happens, right? Like, accidents happen and stuff. A kid, like, a kid doing something and, like, someone dying as opposed to, like, well, I murdered ten people and chopped them up in a woodcutter. <laughs> Put them in a blender and made sausages. <laughs> Would be a lot different, you yeah. know? The the Dusty story would be a, a more difficult thing, I think, to be able to, like, why did you do this? Why didn't you say, you know? But I don't know that I would, like, hate them. I'd be shocked and terrified of the things they've done. But I'd probably still go. I don't know. I hope I don't have to do that. Kids, I'd... you better be good. Kill anybody I'll spank you. Kill me, I come haunt you. <laughs> why, why are they gonna kill you? I don't know. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I think that's it for this episode of Midnight Club. I, I, I think it might have been my favorite so far of the series. Uh, 
just I, I like the way the stories are going and stuff. But we didn't get here without all the other episodes, so. But we are almost done, so. I don't know. I'm gonna be sad. But I also, I'll talk about. There's another thing at the very end that we'll talk about too when we get to the final episode that someone told me we need to look into. Oh, okay. So, we'll talk about that uh, here in I think two more episodes. So make sure you subscribe. If you're watching this and it's still October, we have Scream Stream. We do that every year. We play scary games. There's Dead Space. There's Callisto Protocol, System Shock, Resident Evil 4, Mortuary Assistant, Phasmophobia, some stuff with uh, uh, with Melanie and some of the other ladies over here at Blindwave. So make sure you join in over at Twitch.tv/Blindwave.